hello in this video we are going to see how we can set up unit test in automation studio from scratch we have the automation studio version 4.12.2.93 open here on my screen i would go and create a new project name it for example test unit test let's put somewhere in my local folder Let's Then test okay. Next manually, so we can say production configuration. I would go select a CPU, the more widely used compact CPU 0484. Let's select this one here maybe 57 base module with rs2 then it can and let's finish so here we have the project is created with the configuration as a production and we have the physical view here so now we would like to create a new configuration for the unit test this is a really really empty project so we would take help from another project so to create the configuration for unit test we need to take help from, um, from bnr's um, technology tool so what we go here like the solutions technology solutions unit test select the latest version 2110 and we say finish let's take some time and yeah we have to press to all see it is uh, inserting some libraries here a folder got ts unit test has been created here and then a configuration called ts unit test sample and when I double click on this one it will say to install a lot of stuff we don't really want to do that so we just ignore mismatch I wanted to show what's there it's actually a PC based hardware setup we don't really uh, want that so even with your unit test it would be nice to have the same hardware configuration as we have in the production configuration so let's go here the unit test configuration is active physical view right click replace hardware modules 0484 I will click on this one and it's replaced with this base module 67 it does not really matter but we can change this one hardware module 57 double click on this one. okay so it's the same as a production configuration we save this save this we can uh, rename this one for example bnr unit test all right it has installed a lot of stuff here the library is also samples and templates and stuff like that the libraries are here the first thing we can do is we can <clears throat> rename this as unit test and take this one the libraries inside the library group so here we have the unit test inside the library we need to change some build uh, location now so because we have moved the library from here to there so let's go to this place project change runtime versions build and here we don't need this one let's take this off and we can see this is the url what we can do is logical libraries unit test backslash 
unit test and press apply and then OK. So that's what it is logic libraries, unit test, and unit test is just for the unit test.h file. And so this one we can use, rename it as like unit test sample. Let's rename it. All right. So now this is the first setup. We set up the library. We change the physical uh, hardware. We rename the configuration. And then on the next part, we will see how we can further set up some function test and function block test uh, to, to perform the unit test.